Welcome back to Exocytosis Medicine, where we explore the world of health and medicine. So today we are going to explore how a general virus transmit and how it applies to coronavirus COVID-19. So there are a lot of different types of viruses. There are DNA, RNA, and they all use different ways to infect our cells, but they kind of work in the same way. I won't go into detail about classification of viruses, but know that a committee called International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses basically runs how viruses are called. So our focus for today will be what we call zoophaginae. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, probably not. But it's basically viruses that attack animal cells. And since humans are animals, we basically get infected by this class of viruses. So a virus contains three things. The first one is what we call a capsid. It's basically the virus protection. And it's what you see on the outermost layer uh, of the virus on the screen. And this capsid has three function. The first one is protection against digestion enzyme. For those of you who don't know what digestion enzymes are, they are basically little proteins that cuts DNA. The second thing that this capsid contains is special receptors on its surface that allows the virus to attach to a host cell. And then when the virus attach, the little proteins on the capsid helps the virus. So the second thing that a virus contains is its genome, often either DNA or RNA. So a virus basically has to put his genome into our genome and force translation of his protein, which we call the viral protein. So a virus is like a terrorist. It forces you to do work for them, so they become stronger. It treats your cell like a little bit <laughs> and infects other cell. And when the virus has all its protein, he can assemble. And then the virus exocytos, so he can infect other cells. I previously made a video about exocytosis, so if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. Okay, so let's clarify that a bit. So first off, the virus attaches to a specific receptor, then the virus membrane fuses with the cell membrane, then the viral nucleic acid, so either DNA or RNA, enters the cell, and then the virus encodes. So the viral capsid is either removed by viral enzymes or host enzyme. So then the viral protein replicates, then the virus assembles, and then the virus either exits the cell by lysis or exocytosis. So what is lysis exactly? Well, it's the breakdown of the cell's membrane. So this is because the cell died. So the third thing that the virus is composed of is an envelope which is composed of lipid bilayer mixed with the capsid protein. So now we can apply the knowledge that we just gained to coronavirus 19. So what exactly is coronavirus 19? First off, COVID-19 st stands for Corona Virus Disease 2019. So coronavirus is a RNA virus that binds to ACE2 receptor of the plasma membrane. So what does ACE2 stands for? It stands for angiotensin converting enzyme 2. This enzyme is a central component of the renin angiotensin system, which is a system that 
controls your blood pressure by regulating volumes of fluid in the body. So that's basically all I had to say for today. Thank you guys. Please subscribe, give a like and share with your friends. Bye.